once you have actually hardwired the dome data connection to the back of the RS-45 and the DVR, you need to come to the PTZ menu to configure the communication between the DVR and the camera. Okay, this is done through the camera setup menu under the PTZ ID. Okay, you'll see underneath the title, it says PTZ ID, and that would, that's where you would put the address of the PTZ camera. Now, once that's done, you just have to go ahead and head and set up the board rate and the protocol in the DVR so they're all responding on the same. <clears throat> and this is done through the control setup menu, okay? So once you go into the menu of the DVR and you go down to the control setup menu, you're able to go ahead and set your PTZ protocol, which is down at the bottom, and then your board rate, which is under RS-45, okay? And the EDR, EDVRs offer different protocols, and those protocols are listed below. You have the EverFocus, Pelco D, Pelco P, and the Elmo. Now, this is a screenshot of the EDR, EDVR browser interface. Again, there is no local PTZ control at the DVR. Okay, so if you are not connected to the internet, you would have to purchase an EKD 500 for control. Now, if the DVR is controlled to the, uh, is connected to the network, and you do not want to purchase an EKB 500, simply log on through the internet, the web, uh, web page interface, and you would pull up your PTZ tab, and right from the remote side, you are able to control your PTZ camera that way. Okay, next we're going to go through connecting the EPTZ to an eCore or a Paragon DVR. Okay, the, the eCore and Paragon DVRs also offer PTZ controls remotely through the web page. Um, the, along with that, the eCores, 4 and 8 channel, and the Paragon DVRs are interfaced with a positive and negative screw terminal, so they do not use the RS-45. Now, also, a side note, the Paragon DVRs do offer on-screen local PTZ control. So with the Paragon units, you do no longer have to purchase an EKB to control it on-site if the DVR is not connected to the network. Okay, again, the materials you'll be seeing is the E-Core and the Paragon back panel, along with the PTZ dome cameras. Okay, here, and this is the uh, description of the E-Core and Paragon D DVR. Okay, the 485 terminal connection is used for the communication for the PTZ interface. A twisted pair of wire or Cat5 can be used to interface with the port on the back of the DVR. And you'll see it is different than the EDR and EDVR series. Again, you're using a simple screw terminal, and you have your self-explanatory positive and negative into the screw terminal. Now, once it's hardwired from the dome into the back of the DVR, you're going to have to set up a couple of the parameters inside the DVRs themselves. Okay. Once you set it up, you would to set the PTZ ID for communication between the DVR. This is done under the camera setting menu. Okay, and you'll see that the PTZ ID is down at the bottom. And again, that's where you would add the address of the PTZ camera. Now, once you're done adding the PTZ ID, you have to go ahead and set the DVR up for control also. Okay, so this is setting the protocol and the board rate up in the DVR. And you would do this under the system menu, under IO control. Okay, and you'll see to your left, you have the RS-45 menu, the PTZ protocol up at the top, and the board rate down in the middle. And the Ecorn Paragons offer EverFocus, Pelco D, Pelco P, transparent.